Lions coach Justin Lepich has revealed his plans for the club extend well into the next decade. In only his second year at the helm, he's candid about his ambitions before Saturday's Gabba blockbuster against Collingwood. A Lions three-peat star, Lepich has struggled with his sports decline in Queensland. It's not what it was in the early 90s, but we probably dropped the ball a little bit with our popularity and awareness of the game. But he's confident that can be reversed. Win and fans will flock. And his playing list, the fourth youngest in the AFL, is a self-promoting dream. <laughs> Gen Y, yes, we have got a Gen Y team. That has brought a whole new set of challenges. Gen Y's are hard to coach, I must say. And now it's a bit more of the one-on-one -on -one meetings and the you know individual player development and improvement and things like that. Embracing new generations is the basis of Lepich's plan for the next decade. And I don't joke about that. I, I, I want to be the coach here for a very long period of time. Our average age is probably around 22 or 23 and you probably can have that 10 years together now and, and we, we've sort of built towards that the last couple of years. That includes greater involvement in the Lions Academy, which has already produced six players on their current list. I want to be sort of hands-on in that area as well to give the club the best opportunity to develop players and get the best Queenslander every year. In an age of fleeting coaching stints, Lepich knows his long-term plans are ambitious. His goals for 2015 are much lower key. We're in the bottom six at the moment. We'd like to sort of get to that middle six as quick as we can. With some high profile recruits, a new captain and CEO, Lepich is well equipped to aim much higher. What he's brought to the club's been fantastic, very inclusive. Players are really playing for him. He can lighten the moment and I, I think one thing is important with coaches, you can't be a stress carrier and I think Lepin knows that. Jennifer Huxley, 7 News.